Infield fly in effect. Oh, look at that change up. If you're scoring at home, it did hit the dirt, so technically it's a wild pitch, but I think that's one Clannon would have liked to have back. Yeah, it's a tough play there. Uh, obviously, a mid-inning pitching change doesn't necessarily help, but uh, now you have runners in scoring position, only one out. You have to go for the strikeout, and Valentin's a perfect person for it. And this would be a three unassisted put out, and it is. Runners advance, so an RBI ground out for Carlson. Great job timing by Emma McMillan. She's Came in leading the team in stolen bases with 38. Probably the best person to have on the base pass in this situation with a one-run game. Little line drive past the third baseman, played by Maselli. They send her, does the third base coach, and Scott Rabel, he knows his softball. He sends her home, and we're tied at one. Perfect opportunity here to take the lead for the Cougars. Need something to the gap if you can. That's to the right center gap, and it's going to drop. That's definitely a hit. Would have been a tough play in center. They missed the cutoff, man, and the runner in Jordanoff gets to second base. So if you're scoring at home, that's a single and the advances on the throw. It's an RBI for Rabel, and Kirchin, she is human after all. <laughs> Big opportunity here for Coffee to get out of the damage, get out of the inning with just a one-run deficit and Hope to get back into the fourth inning and either tie the game or take the lead. Little number to short, bad throw. First baseman can't get off the bag. We're going to score to hit, and she'll advance to third on the air. So it's an infield hit, an E3, and the run scores, unearned run, and that makes it 3-1 in favor of the Cougars. The Northwest uh, Bandits, they're from the Pingree Grove, Hampshire area. Not pronounced Hampshire. They get angry when you say that. Line drive into first. And an air by the right fielder. So a base hit and a run scored for Patel. Rounding second. She'll get to third easily. Here comes the relay. The potential Little League home run. And it is. And the Northwest Bandits tie the game. She got behind in the count, but quickly got back, got back, forced the 3 2. She's a switch hitter in the dirt. Runner goes. And Northwest retakes the lead. Wild pitch if you're scoring at home and Turf scores for the go-ahead run. Didn't make the attempt to go to third. Kind of, kind of not being aggressive there on the base pass. Line drive, it stays fair. And it's past the left fielder. That will score Patel in there for a double. She's thinking three. Here comes the cutoff. Stand up, triple. Well, she's a little late dive. But there, there was no play at third, so we'll call it stand-up triple. Stand-up triple for Coffee, and that's excellent. It was a line drive hugger and a big insurance run for the Bandits. This is why these insurance runs are huge. Missed. It's off the glove. She scores. Me, personally, I would say pass ball. It is 12U. What say you, partner? Ooh, wild pitch as that ball kept elevating. Yeah. Kind of hard for the catcher to get out of the crouch and make make right. the play. Still ahead in the count, two and one. Little soft liner, oh. and can't make the catch, but she had to tag up on a close play at second. And I like the idea, partner. You're up three runs. Yes, you could have gotten the out, but if that's an overthrow, now it starts to become more of the damage. Kept it. Didn't get a great great job catching that, but the ball dropped right in front, so it didn't allow an opportunity for the runner to try and go to third. Three and two. Ground ball. It's a slow moving one, bobbled, infield hit. That's the one that Patel probably should have had, Parter. It was just too much of a tough play for the third baseman to make. That's a little bit of no man's land right in the middle of uh, between the pitcher and the third baseman. If McMillan gives up another run here with nobody out, even if you're up by a run with nobody out, you could consider playing infield in. It's weird, though, with nobody out, you'd like to at least get some outs, you know, for a double play chance, but you also want to get that runner at the plate. Little fly ball, it gets over the shortstop's head. Everybody advances one base, and it is now 6-5. to five. Station to station baseball, or softball here. Rabel's driven in a run. Scored one as well. 
Her dad's yeah. the third base coach. Can she do it for dad? <laughs> she already has a double tonight. It's to the outfield. This will score at least one. It's indeed caught. They tag up. Tie score. Would they do the suicide squeeze? We'll see. Just barely got a piece of it. It's on the ground. Close play! And she's safe! And the Cougars win! Cougars come back in the bottom of the seventh. It's a 7-6 seven, victory. How about that? In the most unlikely way possible. A pop single to second base can't be caught. And the infield single, the blown save, 